Hello everyone. Um, this is just to uh, start off our uh, kickoff tutorials for Ruby programming. Um, this is tutorial one in which I'm going to go over a uh, very common asked question that I see in the forums uh, commonly. This is that uh, when you go into the game you don't want the save menu in your in your menu options. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to remove that option so that you can obviously you can you can call that via event or whatever to uh, to uh, play your game so what we're going to do is just go ahead and open up the script editor and inside of here we're going to scroll down to the scene menu which is obviously where your menu happens now inside of here we've got two places that we need to update uh, the first one is under the create menu uh, window command here so what we need to do is we need to remove this option here for save. So what we're going to do is we're just going to remove the end of that. Actually, I'm just going to comment it out. And we're going to rename that uh, end option to 5. And then we need to remove that over here so that we can, so that it's only processing line, or these strings, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, so now that we've got that, then we need to come right down here where it's got the if save disabled item here and because this is no longer applicable because we don't have that option we're just going to comment this out as well okay the next thing we're going to do is update your command selection the command selection is when I hit the input and I'm on the main menu scene and it's trying to determine what action should be done then it uh, it calls this method here so these here are your methods. Um, this uh, item here is no longer applicable because save disabled is no longer an option we even need to worry about. So we're just going to comment out those lines. And then the last part is that we need to remove this section down here, which again is calling of the scene menu. So this this option here was to say that if I selected um, this if I selected item number four, which previously was save, then it would, and the save was disabled, then it would play the buzzer and cancel out and return. But because that's no longer applicable, it would continue down here and say, all right, well, because you're on option number four, which was previously save, then it would call the save menu. But because that's no longer the case, four is now end game, so we just need to change that to a four right there. And that's actually it as far as removing the menu. Um, this is uh, specifically for RPG Maker VX. Um, XP is very similar, but um, that's the basic concept. So let's just go ahead, we'll save that, and we'll play test it here. So we'll open up the menu, and as you can see, we no longer have the save menu option and selecting the game end option sends us to the appropriate place. Okay, um, actually one other thing you just barely noticed is when we selected the game end and we hit cancel, you see how it comes back and it selects this index that isn't even an option. So to fix that um, what we're going to do is because that was part of the scene end that was the problem we need to come down here to scene end and say when you terminate and you go back to the menu you need to go back to option number four because it, it it's based off of the index um, of that so let me just go and render that one more time here and we're gonna go ahead and open up the menu and go to game end we're gonna say cancel and as you can see it now returns us now to that. Now the other part to understand though is, is that when I say index I'm usually referring to an array and every array starts at zero so the first item in the list is always zero one two three and four so that's why we put four back into that box rather than five so that pretty much covers it as far as the uh, removing of the menu there um, but um, 
I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to keep on doing these tutorials. I'll try to do one a week. Um, we'll see how that pans out. But uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to go over creating some new types of menus. So I'm going to start taking suggestions on what things we should uh, create. And we'll go through and make those things from scratch uh, in RPG Maker. Um, I will only be programming in RPG VX as uh, that is the, the current standard out there and the, the things that you do in RPG VX in most cases you can transpose back to XP with, that, with little to no effort. So anyways, um, that should handle it so we'll see you next time.